Happy 4th of July, everyone. So today I'm doing a collab with the Faithful Fab 8 and we're gonna be doing a 4th of July look. And I'm gonna do something very simple, very, very easy. Anybody can recreate no matter what skill level you have. And I believe I've done this before and for a 4th of July video, but it's just my go-to look. You know, as much as I would love to do something really creative and bold and fun, it is going to be warm out. Yeah, it is gonna be very warm out. So I don't want to have a ton of eye makeup on. So I will link everyone's video down below. I highly recommend checking out their channels and their videos and see what their 4th of July look looks like. Cause you could get inspiration by watching, you know, more than one video and see what you wanna do. But I already did my base and I have bronzer on, all that. So let's do some blush. I'm gonna do this blush. This is from Milani. It is the Cherry on Top. Now this is one of their baked blushes and I'm not sure if it was limited edition or not, but I know it's still being sold in some drugstores. But this is very, very pigmented. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetic Angled Powder Brush and just tap. Thomas, tap real quick. Like a lot of product picked up. You could even pat it on your hand if you're worried about too much and then we'll put some on. I thought this would be really pretty for the red, white, and blue look. More of a red tone blush. And it's gonna be warm out, so you know, blushes do fade. So I know this looks really bold right now, but it will fade. I'm just gonna take whatever's left over over my nose and put some up here. Why not? And for highlighter, I want to go in with something stark white. <laughs> and this is my did you see Thomas jump in the window? <laughs> He's my baby boy. He is definitely a mama's boy. So I'm gonna go in my Physician's Formula Boost Bronze Booster. This is the highlighting palette, and I chose to go into with this white highlighter just because it's a little softer. And this is my Morphe Morphe Jaclyn Hill highlighting brush, and we're gonna do some highlighting. Now for the eyes. The eyes are gonna be real simple. I'm gonna go in with this little old guy. This is like a eye, an eye pencil. I, it's I forget what brand it is. It was from like the Broadway beauty brand Dollar General used to sell. Um, but any white eye pencil will do. I like a a white eye primer or whatever you have. And I'm just gonna use this as an eye base because I really want like a white a stark white eye. This is how I will incorporate the white or red, white, and blue. And I'm just going to take my finger and blend it. If you want, you could go in with more. This is just going to be my base. And I do want to put a, a, something in my crease. So I'm just going to go in with my Hoola bronzer with a fluffy blending brush and just put it in my crease just to define it a little bit. Ooh, this was too big of a brush. Well, I'll probably have to go it back in with a little of that white. Okay, back in the white pencil. I got this palette from BoxyCharm a long time ago, like Cypress Beauty. I remember they gave, it had like a really crazy price tag and I never use it, but I was looking for like a white shimmery shade and I'm gonna use this one right here called Diamond Fire. And I'm just gonna take my finger and put it on my lid. And it'll really stick to that white base, but you could use like a matte white eyeshadow if you want, if you don't want the shimmer, or if, even if you have a white glitter, that would be really pretty too. You make this look your own. And I'm just gonna take my blending brush and just make sure to blend up into the crease. I didn't put any additional product on it. Now for the blue. 
I have two blue eyeliners. This one's really old. I'm not sure if it's going to work, so I have this one too. But this is a L'Oreal Infallible Pan Paints in blue. So we're going to try this, see if it still has some juice left in it. And I'm just going to line my eyes. You can wing it if you want. If you're not very good at wings, you can just line your eyes. I like to do like a little baby wing. And if you don't own a blue eyeliner, you could take a blue eyeshadow with like an angled brush and use that. You could even like wet it, like dip your brush into the eyeshadow and then spray your brush. And that would work too as an eyeliner. This is kind of like a brighter blue color. I'm going to try to go over it with this one. This is the LA Colors Eye Marker. This was a gift from Nona here on YouTube. Yeah, this one's more a darker blue. Yeah, I definitely like this blue better. Okay. And then I do have a blue pencil liner and I'm gonna put this in my waterline real quick. This is so old, I think it's about time to retire. That was really hard to get on. <laughs> I don't use the, the colored eyeliners that much, so I'm gonna go in back with my bronzer with the angled brush and I'm just gonna like, Kind of buff my lower lash line with this line it add some definition help blend out that blue a little bit you could always take like a blue eyeshadow and do this too if you want more blue down there that didn't really show up so i'm going to take this shade right here it's like a bronzy shimmer now to add mascara i'm going to use my tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. This is such a good tubing mascara. Um, I highly recommend, if you've never tried a tubing formula before, I highly recommend them for summertime because they're different than waterproof. Um, tubing formulas, they do come off with water, but you kind of have to get like a gentle uh, rub to break it down but if you just like get wet like splash your face with water or if you're sweating or whatever it doesn't smudge it doesn't flake it doesn't move so they're really great for the summertime and this tubing formula just adds so much length and lift it's not so much of a volume it, it does add a little volume but it's mostly about the length with tubing formulas so mascara is on, eyes are done. If you have a blue mascara, that would be really pretty too. I don't own a blue one, but even if you just put it on your, like your lower lashes, that would look really great. Now let's finish this off for lips. I mean, you could easily just go in with like a lip gloss and call it a day, but I am gonna pop on some red. This, first I'm gonna go in with some lip liner. This is from Ace Beauty, so gorgeous. Like red's a color you have to be really careful with and like kind of concentrate because <laughs> if you make a mistake, it's kind of hard to clean. Okay, I have my outline done. And this one's kind of new to me. It's from Kat Von D or KVD Beauty. It's called the Female Glaze. So I'm not sure if I would, I'm not sure about this one. I, I think I've tried it once, but when it's hot out, I would more, if I want to wear something bold, I'd prefer a matte just so it, I know it's going to stay put, but we're, I'm going to try this. <laughs> it is a nice glossy formula, this, but it is a little hard to apply. I just wish it was like more pointed better. It's kind of rounded, so it's a little tricky with this type of color, but this is my look, my red, white, and blue. Very simple, very wearable. I feel like you could customize it however you want. It's just like a classic 4th of July look. And I think this would be great if you have a picnic or cookout, or if you're going to like your town park to watch the fireworks or a carnival. It's just a little festive, but not too crazy, but just enough like to know that you're in the, you know, the holiday spirit. But okay, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you all have a happy 4th of July, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.